If I can wait for 48 hours, in those 48 hours, the heart is softened. After that, what happens? I go back to my old routine and the heart becomes hard once again. Subhanallah. Be careful, my brothers, the way you use your mouths with your wives. Be careful. I see, they're just looking at me, which means they use their mouths as well. So my sisters, you too, subhanallah. Be careful the way you use your mouths with your spouses. Yesterday we spoke about the hijab of a woman and I get an email from someone saying, please remind the men that they too need to wear hijab. So my brothers, there are black cloaks out there, all of you, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. No, the reality is there is hijab for men. What is the hijab? It is to lower your gaze, to dress with clothing that is not tight. Wallahi, it's your duty. You cannot show all your, you know, limbs and organs thinking, hey, I'm a man. No, 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 it's for you as well. Make sure you are dressed with loose clothing and make sure that the material is good and so on. It's for you as well, my brothers. It's not just for the women. In fact, when Allah speaks of lowering the gaze and hijab, He speaks about the men first in Surah Nur. Tell the believing males first to lower their gazes and to protect their private parts. And one whole verse later, He says, and also tell the believing women subhanallah amazing but the men always think hijab for the women hijab for the brother hijab is for you as well may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and ease you need to lower your gaze you won't even know who's got the hijab and who hasn't because you're always looking down may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us control our eyes May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us really. May Allah forgive us. May He strengthen us.